Second project uh, is called the uh, Warin Platform, and it uh, serves as the entrance exhibition center for the Longmen Mountain National Panda Forest Park uh, in Pengzhou. Uh, the name Warin means "lying within the clouds," and uh, symbolizing pandas living in secu uh, seclu seclusion in the Mesity Longmen Mountains. And it also reflects people's longing to reconnect with nature and return to their true selves and explore traditional values. And, and the building has uh, three levels. The ground floor is completely open, uh, forming a multifunctional public space for villagers to gather, socialize, and host events like art exhibitions and uh, cultural activities. And it creates a bridge between urban and rural communities, I think. And the middle, uh, the middle and upper floors are uh, dedicated to cultural exhibitions and the leisure experience, and where you can appreciate both the harmonious beauty above the clouds and the lively human activity below. And the uh, white pilots on the ground level grow upwards like a bamboo forest, uh, while the meadow section rep represents a uh, panda lying on top of the bamboo grove and creating a suspended uh, semi uh shape. And on the shallow water covered roof, two floating stones of different sizes are scattered and uh, drawing inspiration from the uh, glacial erects uh, of Longman Mountain and the floating river stones in the Jinjiang River Belay. And the panda inspired elements, including its distinct black and white form and reflected throughout the inter interior design, furniture, and the decor. And the design of volume platform merges. Penzo's core natural elements. Uh, through the combination of these elements, we've created a magical, open, and a playful space that offers a unique experience. The abstract architectural <clears throat> imagery might evoke different uh, interpretations a giant white tree, or a cloud, or a spaceship, and everyone will say it in their own way. While the building might seem complex, uh, it's actually made up of very simple structures. The main framework is a regular grid of rectangular columns uh, with perform perforated uh, aluminum panels installed on the exterior. And the seemingly complex bamboo forest below is formed by random uh, decorated, decorated steel columns of the same size. And we call this approach complexity through simple structure. 
And our contemporary expression of uh, traditional Chinese elements goes beyond just form. And in Wuhan, Hebei province, we drew inspiration from the most important local historical artifact, uh, the chain barrels, um, and created the auditorium of the sound. The appearance of the building was transformed from the chain barrels with the patterns and the raised elements uh, are also translated into architectural uh, components, such as light opening and windows. And when playing the chain bells, uh, striking the front and the side uh, will produce two distinct sounds. And we translated these characteristics into the interior space of the building by uh, using, by designing two auditoriums, uh, one above the other, the building also generate two different voice. And the, these are the image shows the two different auditoriums. Yes, and the auditorium on the first and second floor were uh, designed with different shapes to create a varying acoustic effects. And we added a sound opening between the two levels, uh, producing a magical auditor auditory experience throughout the building. And we even included interact uh, uh, Qingbao installations for visitors to uh, play. And therefore, our contemporary expression of traditional culture is not limited to form. And we will conduct in depth. Uh, research on the essence of local culture from all aspects and uh, translate it into any form of career that can evoke the emotional resonance of the experiencer. So in the surrounding villages, uh, traditional social structures have declared. Uh, from the start, our team visited four villages within 1.5 kilometers of the site and hoping that Warring Platform could participate in local life. And it provides a space for locals to gather, to chat and play, and adding real meaning to the concept of public buildings. And it's meant to be a place where villages and cities, as well as urban and rural life can come together. And it's like a big tree at the entrance of the village from traditional Chinese memories, a central gathering place for the whole community. A warring platform helps uh, elevate some of the existing issues in rural areas and give younger generations a reason and uh, confidence to return to their roots and making rural revitalization more sustainable, I think. And this is the project's most important social significance. So at night, whether it's clear or cloudy, we have preserved a piece of the starry sky for Longman Town. And under this expensive sky, villagers might gather to call off and travelers might stop to take photos Couples could enjoy romantic days and the children might count the stars or someone deep in thought could sit and uh, reflect. And so we hope more people can find joy in their own way here. What's really interesting is you you mentioned you have such a simple like approach at the first stages. It's like the building is not that complex, but combining these ideas made it like such a complex outcome of this project at yeah. first i saw I, I i thought like it looked like a like a spaceship floating on the yeah. sky like it was so futuristic for me at first yeah but like as you mentioned you had this simple like stages like combining these imaginary uh, monuments yeah. together and get this kind of outcome but in the process like how how straightforward is this process you have to like go through different stages, like get the, all the documents, details, like do these separate studies for this, or 
you have this artistic like uh, style that you go through the how to say it the, 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 you you try to make it with art or it's the whole different process with different studies okay so uh actually at the first stage um is uh we have to put the function space together and uh, it's not about uh, artistic first actually and and in many projects in our studio i think is um, we always start from artistic but we should also focus on focusing on the uh, function space so uh, about this project, I think is uh, the function first, not artistic. Yeah, because and what was the like complex. experience with? Oh, okay. And what was the experience yeah, with the client when you introduced this concept to them? Like, oh, okay. uh, we are really interested in this uh, ideas, and it, they think it really represents their doko land local culture yes and since you elevated up you didn't like harm the like the the, the environment at all like you have the view of the like the place and it's not connected directly to the earth i want to ask you about uh so you mentioned that there is a connection to the env uh, uh, environment in your concept so first in the ground level there is this you wanted to uh to have this bamboo uh forest effect right and then on the second floor i guess it was the sleeping panda uh, was that right yep yep and then um, which i guess is uh, panda is your um in your i mean it's quite common in in your country and uh the top floor is con connecting to the clouds so i guess is it i just want to ask if having this type of approach is really common in uh, um, all your designs having this connection with the environment and why do you think that is uh, important yes uh, most of our projects are uh, aiming at connecting to the environment uh, and, and as i think mr young have mentioned before matches theory uh, of our studio is uh, focusing on this the harmony harmony yeah it's it's one of the most important chinese uh asian theory uh, philosophy so it's also about the what we mentioned before and uh, we think this uh, philosophy is really strong and we want to use it and so that, that that's why we always uh like to uh we want to connect in the environment so it's about harmony harmony with the nature and environment sorry uh yeah so it's about uh, creating harmony with the environment yeah creating harmony yes right and so uh i also want to ask you a bit i'm just curious about this whole um your structure so are those all those columns are the ones carrying the structure right those small columns so it's the one that is carrying the whole structure or is there like maybe some main columns and then maybe we can just see it in this image is so so you you uh, said smaller uh yes so you so you have this uh plenty of simple and small columns this very uh narrow columns random yes random columns yeah. so are these all carrying are those all structural they're all carrying the structure itself or is there like a main structure perhaps in this uh you can see this smaller columns are all the decorations and the mm -hmm. uh, right. the bigger one are the instruction instruction yep. column yep yep although it's still the your structural column still looks um thin though which is quite amazing yep. um, 
Yeah, and then you have you talked earlier about this other structure which resembles was it a bell, a Chinese bell? Um, the or, Chinese bell. Yes. yes. So, uh, where is this located exactly in the? Because I can quite see it in the in the. Uh, it's perspective. Uh, located in a pond. Also, oh, it's but it's still near the main structure, right? It's in or a different a place, different... or it's in the like the, the it's, second it's, place, it's, the second another... floor. Yeah. Sorry. Is so in a the... different place, or is on the second floor? Yeah, different like where... place. Oh, okay. In uh, Hebei province, another province. Yeah. Ah, I see. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe lastly, um, you mentioned something that you usually or oftentimes start with the artistic uh, approach in your design, right? Yep. Yeah, so uh, could you tell us how you view, I mean, this might be a bit complex or, or you can answer it in a, in a simple answer, but um, how do you approach this artistic side? Is it more on, on what the structure looks like or how it feels? uh yeah like how do you approach the artistic side in the how do you approach the artistic part of the design uh so we uh we conduct in in depth research on the essence of local culture and that's the way we how we search the artistic part. Right. Uh -huh. So it's rooted in culture. Mm -hmm.